And that big jump in the 10-year Treasury yield has mortgage rates now at the highest level in seven years. And as Diana Olick explains, that could not come at a worse time for buyers. If you didn't lock in a mortgage rate last week, you're out of luck. Rates just took the biggest jump since November of 2016, the day after the presidential election when bond yields surged. In just the past two days, the average rate on the 30-year fixed is up 14 basis points to now 4.94 percent, according to Mortgage News Daily. That's the average for borrowers with solid down payments and credit scores, so you're looking at 5 percent and above for the not-so-pristine borrowers. Rates are now a full percentage point higher than they were this time last year, the highest in more than seven years. This comes in conjunction with still very hot home prices. The gains are shrinking slightly as sales slow, but prices are still rising faster than incomes, and in most major markets, home prices are already well above the last peak. So what does that mean for home buyers? About 180 bucks more on a monthly payment for the median priced house. And it's not just the payment, but lenders are strict on how much in debt payments you can carry versus your income. As interest rates go up, you're going to have more people being declined for loans because they're not going to be able to meet all the, all the criteria that's necessary. It's a bad combination of interest rates going up. At the same time, we're dealing with record high levels of home prices. Friday could be an even bigger day in either direction for mortgage rates, depending on the outcome of the all-important September jobs report. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.